Hi, Compose developers. Today, let's dive deep into a delightful tool that I hope will become your best friend for debugging Jetpack Compose UIs, the Embedded Layout Inspector. Let's start with how to access it. First, run your app on an emulator or a physical device. Then open the Running Device Tool window in Android Studio. You'll see your connected device and your running app process in the toolbar. Look for the Toggle Layout Inspector icon, click on it. The Layout Inspector window will appear below the device with two sub-panels, Component Tree, which shows your component hierarchy, and Attribute Panel, which shows the selected component's attributes. One of the first things you may notice is speed with up to 50% faster rendering compared to the old standalone layout inspector. You will also notice that debug bounds are now drawn directly in the app UI. I like to use the gear icon to change my layout so that the two panels split between the phone like so. Everyone has different preferences. It depends on your available screen real estate, the type of device you've deploying to, or if you have app UI drawn outside of frame, and Android Studio remembers your last setting. Great. Now let's show how to debug composables. Oftentimes, you might be looking for specific composables and understanding if the call stack or hierarchy is what you expect. You can find this information by navigating to the app screen you're interested in, then take a look at the component tree next to the layout inspector. The component tree is a live hierarchical view of all the composables and views if you have a hybrid app currently on your screen. You can expand and collapse nodes to understand the structure of your UI. Another way to easily pinpoint the desired composable is using Toggle Deep Inspect. When enabled, clicking on the app UI in the inspector will select the composable and show its details. When disabled, the clicks go directly to the app allowing you to navigate, tap buttons, and use the app as normal. I often switch between inspecting UI and interacting as I try to reproduce the UI scenario I want the app to be in. After the composable is selected, you can now look through the attribute panel for more information like declared parameters, the actual parameters passed through the composable along with their current values, semantic information, for making sure your UI is accessible, if it declares semantics directly, merge semantics from its children, or both. One thing uniquely built for Compose is also the ability to track recomposition in the layout inspector. This helps understand UI performance as excessive or unexpected recompositions are a common source of performance issues. In the component tree panel, there are three columns next to your composable. Recomposition count shows how many times that specific composable has recomposed since you started inspecting. Child recomposition count show you how many times the child composable has recomposed since you started inspecting. Skip count shows how many times a recomposition was triggered for its parent, but this specific composable was smart enough to skip recomposing because its input hadn't changed. As you interact with your app, you'll see these counts update live. Android Studio will also highlight the composables that are recomposing directly on the app rendering. Composables that recompose more frequently might get a stronger or more persistent highlight, drawing your attention to potential hotspots. If you don't see these, click on the View Options in the Component Tree toolbar and ensure Show Recomposition Counts is checked. Also, if you see a composable with a surprisingly high recomposition count, simply double click on it in the component tree or the visual preview, Android Studio will take you directly to its source code so you can investigate why it's recomposing and optimizing it. By monitoring these counts and highlights, you can identify composables that are working harder than they need to. Maybe you're passing unstable parameters or a state change is rippling further than you intended. The layout inspector gives you the clues you need. Another useful feature is to take a snapshot. 
sometimes you need to capture a specific UI state for later analysis or to share with a colleague. Look for a snapshot export import icon in the Layout Inspector toolbar. Clicking this will save the current layout hierarchy, including a detailed 3D rendering, the component tree, and all attributes into a .li file. You can then load this snapshot back into Android Studio, later using File Open. So that's a wrap for showing some tips about Embedded Layout Inspector for Jetpack Compose. From the improved speed to its deep inspection capabilities, snapshot and recomposition tracking is an essential tool in your Compose debugging journey. If you have any feedback, make sure to let us know. Happy debugging! <laughs>